Hey guys, in this short video, you're going to learn how to repair an ice maker that's freezing up and that will not make ice. This particular ice maker image you're seeing here is a Samsung refrigerator ice maker. This happens a lot with this refrigerator. As a matter of fact, uh, while I'm making this video, I just received a call maybe two weeks ago on this refrigerator and that's the image you're seeing now. The customer told me that a major appliance repair company came out three times if I'm not mistaken and each time the techs diagnosed it they would replace the ice maker which of course did not solve the problem. So let's see how we can repair this ice maker and how simple and easy it is to do that. Once you remove the ice maker bucket you need to remove this Phillip head screw that you see this arrow is pointing to and just remove the cover and behind it of course you're about to see is the harness, the wiring harness. And now you're also about to see what's causing the ice maker to freeze up. Here's the problem with this particular Samsung refrigerator. You see me exposing a crack in the ice maker housing with my flashlight. Air gets in and what it does is it causes the ice inside to freeze. Also as you see here there's no ice on this particular ice maker because I had the customer defrost it so we could seal that crack which is what you're about to see here shortly. Now of course before you seal the crack you really need to wipe the area clean with a rag of some type so you can get a good bond when you apply the RTV that I'm about to show you here shortly. So wipe the area clean and wherever that crack is guys go as far back as you need to to permanently seal that crack. So I use a clear RTV silicone adhesive sealant. And then I cut the end of the tube at a 45 degree angle so I can get and cover that crack as well as I possibly can. You can get this from any AutoZone or any uh, uh, automobile supply store, O'Reilly's, whatever's in your area. I like the clear type because you don't see it once you're done. Here's what it looked like after I finished. You can't even see the ceiling. Again, that's why I like the clear type. Some people use white. That's up to you. All you have to do at this point is put the cover back on the harness and let the customer know I recommend not using the ice maker for 24 hours because that will allow that silicone sealant to bond so that crack will be sealed permanently. Last but not least, one of the common questions is how do you remove the ice that's already formed or frost on the ice maker. I recommend defrosting the refrigerator for 24 hours. Remove the ice bucket and leave the refrigerator doors open. Then you will have easy access to wipe whatever is down there, water, um, any type of condensation from the area that is cracked and you'll get a good bond seal. 